Welcome back to Teach Amanda Fish Channel. Today's video is going to be a homemade leather strop made from materials that I was able to pick up during my travels. So without too much fanfare, we'll cover the materials that I have here. I've got my board. And it's a, I picked it up at a thrift store for I think $1.50. It's a cheese cutter board that I'll remove these parts. Uh, nice handle to it. I will have to remove this finish on it in order for that contact cement to get a good grip. Uh, a block of buffing compound. This is the, the green style. It's just a light abrasive in there. This is a vegetable tanned leather. Uh, it's a much tougher, like a bridal leather. They say you can do it also out of chrome tan leather. There are some who recommend not using a chromium tan leather because it's too soft. Um, maybe someday I will make a strop out of this uh, chromium tan leather and see how that ends up performing. For now, it's the vegetable tan leather. So this leather has two sides to it, a suede side and a hard side. I'm gonna make a double-sided strop with that. First, let's go ahead and strip down this paddle. All right, there's the basis for our strop stripped down. Uh, I left this with a higher grit of sandpaper than the paddle so that we'll get more uh, stable surface contact between the contact glue and the leather. Let's go ahead and get our leather cut. Plenty of overhang. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make this side the and I'm just scoring up the leather make certain I can get as good a contact into this leather as I can. Now I'll go ahead and paint both sides. Paint both sides and let dry for 15 minutes. Now we'll let that dry for 15 minutes. All right, it's actually been about 20 minutes. And as soon as these touch, they're set. So I'm gonna make sure it's as 
on as we possibly can. There we go. That's the rough side. Or the suede side. And now we just repeat the process for the other side. All right, so I ended up putting two coats on this suede side of the leather. Uh, it was soaking up an awful lot of that glue, so two coats look like a lot better coverage to me. Now I'm also gonna rough up this smooth side just a little, get rid of that shininess so it'll take the buffing compound will have somewhere to go in that leather. Now we'll use some white buffing compound on this smoother side. You can't really see this very well, but it is going into the leather. It's just taking on the color of that leather, picking up some of that dust that I just made. So you could see that wore down quite a bit. So this stropping compound or buffing compound is actually just basically a wax with uh, some abrasives in it. So it won't necessarily go into the leather, but we can melt that wax a little bit with a heat gun or you can use the your stove or a hair dryer uh, just to help that material spread out on that leather some. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Just that quick. I hope you found the video informative and at least entertaining. If you did, please click like, subscribe, share, come on back for more. There's more videos over here and a subscription right there. Thank you for watching.